lovelies, welcome back to another video of mine. If you're new here, my name is Louise and I just started a YouTube channel called Dress to Honour. So thanks for being here with me. In this video, I'm going to be talking about items that you can wear to church. I've been to many different churches around the world and I've gotten quite a good idea from my experience what you can feel comfortable with wearing. Even though being a Christian and going to church you can be relaxed with what you wear compared to some other religions. I definitely see people on a regular basis dress quite inappropriately, whether they are covered literally too much so they don't look like themselves. It just looks like they've changed their style completely just to come to church on Sunday and they look like they're from, you know, the 1950s or something very, very outdated or they're on the opposite end of that spectrum where their clothes are just too revealing. When people dress too revealing, it's not that they want to show off their body or they want that attention. It's just more that they're actually not aware of their body shape and they don't know how clothing items actually suit them. I find this to happen very often with teenagers. I used to be very thin, long and straight. So any, for example, denim shorts I put on me would look almost like hot pants because my legs were so long. And another simple reason for looking like you're wearing clothes that are too revealing at church or looking like you've covered up too much and you look too frumpy can be just simply because you're so busy and you don't really have time to think about clothes because I've also been there. Before I became a style coach and I really learnt about um, the different body shapes and different fabrics and textures and colors all that can really have an impact on your overall image and how the other person sees you. Please know ladies that we can feel feminine, dress beautifully and be on trend and still be honoring God when we go to church. It's important to me to talk about this and to show you some items because I don't want you to feel worried on a Sunday. I've also been worried and anxious about what I wear and I've done a lot of trial and error so I want to simply guide you in the right direction. So let me go ahead and show you these items. The first one I'm going to show you is a maxi dress with spaghetti straps. So first of all with the length of this dress obviously you're not going to go wrong with this because it's modest it covers your legs and also I'm just thinking of when we worship if we want to go up the front we want to kneel down we want to jump you know sometimes we may be filled with the Holy Spirit so who knows um, how excited we'll get or how much jumping around we'll do. So that's why this will just keep us covered and it's just a very secure thing to wear, I feel. I feel very comfortable wearing this in church. And also not to mention, when you um, sit down or you cross your legs, you're not going to flash anybody. With spaghetti straps, this one is quite revealing because you've got the V neckline and obviously at the back you have the open back. Whether it's a top or a dress, I wouldn't recommend wearing this feature on its own. I would actually put like a blazer like this over the top of that would work really well. Or if you have long beautiful hair, then you can um, keep that down and that will cover most of that part. So that actually works as well. And you can also layer some nice necklaces, then it won't be too bare at the front here and on the back. So that works really well. So this is a great piece to have at church. So this works over anything. Obviously with the dress, it works over tops. This just gives you more coverage really, but it helps you look smart, elevated, put together. And it's something that we need in this day and age as well, because everything is becoming so relaxed and almost sloppy like. And I feel like we're coming away from that polished look, especially in the male fashion. Maybe I should do a video about that, but I'm just seeing a lot of males getting really sloppy with their outfits these days in church. And I'm really just not a fan of those loose tees that have like holes in them and they go down past their hips. So it almost looks like a dress on them. I really just miss, you know, the basic button up shirts and something just a little bit more smarter looking. So anyway, I buy blazers these days in a lot of different colors and depending on your body shape, you can get a blazer that's very oversized that you can just place over your shoulders. But just be mindful of that, how you style the blazer as another appropriate piece for church. So the next item I wanted to show you is the strapless top. Now, I know that a lot of people would think, oh, that is going to be too revealing, but there are absolutely ways that you can wear this. I love this top. I actually wore this a few years ago, but I haven't stopped wearing it because I absolutely love it. But anyway, this can be a beautiful piece to wear to church. You just have to wear it properly. So when you wear it by itself, it can 
look too bare at the front and too revealing. Just imagine when you're sitting in the auditorium from behind, it will look like you have nothing on because you obviously can't see it because you're sitting in the seat and the seat will probably cut off here. So people from behind would only see your shoulders, your neck and your head. So that definitely wouldn't work. So what I can recommend with this is you can leave your hair down so it covers more of your shoulders. You can add a scarf or you can add a nice necklace. And also don't forget you can add a blazer over the top or a cardigan or something like that to cover yourself up more. But definitely don't be afraid of wearing these. You just have to style them in the right way. Okay, so the next item that I picked out that would be appropriate for church is the midi skirt. This piece really speaks for itself. So like I was saying with the maxi dress, this obviously covers your legs. So you're a lot more free to do things within the church. You can feel 100% comfortable. So I encourage you this season, definitely go out and buy some skirts because you can experiment with florals. You can experiment with solid colors. You'll definitely find something that works for you. And I think it's just such a feminine item that we can't afford not to have in our wardrobe. This one here, I absolutely adore. This one is quite a stiff fabric. So you might prefer this type of fabric or you prefer flowy ones, but there's literally every single variety out there now. So make sure you jump online and head into your favorite stores and see what they have because you are guaranteed to feel beautiful and feminine when you go to church in a piece like this. So the next item I wanted to show you are these pair of jeans. As you can see, they are flared, a very, very big trending piece this season. These are beautiful because they are figure hugging around the stomach area, the bum and on the thighs, and then they are more relaxed down the bottom. So this particularly suits a rectangle shape because if you feel like you're a lot more straight up and down and even more masculine, then this can definitely add some curve to your body. So I highly recommend. For a top, wear something semi-fitted and if you do wear a fitted top, then pop a blazer over the top so it's not too figure hugging from top to bottom. Also to ensure that you don't look too outdated when you're wearing a pair of these because sometimes when people wear these and they've styled them incorrectly, it looks like they are stepping out from the 2000s and we don't want that. We still want to look modern and on trend so I recommend popping on a pair of heels or mules to wear with this pair of jeans so it elevates your look rather than it making you look frumpy. And then the last item I wanted to show you was the high heel. So you can absolutely wear high heels to church. Do not be afraid of this. I've been afraid of this in the past because I am quite tall. I'm 175 centimeters and I've always felt like when I wore heels, uh, all the attention would be on me and I actually don't like attention so that used to make me feel uncomfortable but so this is something that can make you feel really really feminine and beautiful but you have to make sure that the heel height is appropriate because if you walk in with thin thin heels that are like six inches it's going to look like you are going out at night or you're going out to a club and that's what we absolutely do not want when going to church so stick to something like this um, this is a nice heel size. Also, kitten heels works absolutely fine. If you're wearing mules as well, that's a popular shoe for this season. Mules are shoes that have straps over the front here, but they don't have a supporting back strap. Those are really beautiful as well, and oftentimes they come with a chunky heel. So I hope you enjoyed that and you could follow along and take some helpful advice from the items that I showed you. Hopefully you would be more confident walking into church with these items. One thing I wanted to mention before I go is the boxy tee. Now, this is an item that I see people wear a lot of, but it doesn't unfortunately do us any favors because it's something that just completely hides our figure. And that's what we don't want. This is definitely an item that has been trending for many, many years and I've just been waiting for it to be over, but it's still around and also the athleisure style is still around where all the clothes look like sportswear and they're very, very loose. So I just wanted to encourage you to jump out of your comfort zone if that is you and you do like wearing these shirts because they're simply comfortable and it's easy to wear on the weekends and when you go to church. I really encourage you to look for shirts that are a little bit more figure hugging, maybe even if it's semi-fitted, it doesn't have to be tight. But just have a go. It just takes trial and error and experiment with what basic shirts 
look good on you at the end of the day if you're a woman you know you have boobs so don't be afraid of that showing even from the side if you have a little bit of that silhouette at the front that's totally okay we just have to style this in the right way but i just wanted to remind you that showing your figure is absolutely fine so anyway with that being said i'm going to leave it there i hope that was helpful for you i do really hope that your sunday dressing will be a lot easier now and that you'll feel great about yourself and more feminine thanks so much again for watching and i'll see you in my next video